beautiful. It's a work of art. Hello everybody, my name is Elliot, and yes, I have returned to YouTube after a couple of months. After episode 10, I did want to take it easy of uh, not doing YouTube for a little while, then coming back to say, hey, I'm back, I'm ready to do more. Um, this episode I wanted to do for a while, but um, I just put it off and like, I just want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this more than just uh, doing all of, you know, YouTube. So uh, I am back um, for a short period of time because uh, I'm doing a two week uh, job thing as of right now as I'm, as I'm recording this, but uh, I guess it's time to talk through what is happening for for this episode uh one is that uh just a little event things here and there um i'm beginning of editing this while i am uh doing this but um what happens is that uh we go to our second and only final uh alpha date and uh it i remember it being said she was singing a little tune about, you know, the main character. And uh, she had to break, she had, her higher ups had to say, you cannot interact with this person anymore. It's like, that's really unfair because it's now gonna be like, this is, it's because it's now gonna be like, if he comes back to you, you're gonna, he's gonna have to be your partner in singing in concerts. And it's like, fuck no. I don't want that, so uh, they, she just rightfully said, we cannot speak to each other anymore, and uh, yeah, honestly, that made me very sad, <laughs> but uh, I, I did record myself almost getting into tears when that happened, and then, you know, the, yeah, the little sex thing happened, and uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I just decided, no, I'm not going to put that in. But, uh, yeah, it was a sad one. As we go into this clip, uh, it is Mio date, or, not date, the, I hate the word date with things that involve chapters. Because it's in the achievements. Um, Mio chapter 3, we are officially halfway through the game, finally. And, uh, yeah, so I kind of just wanted to skip over a day. And uh, a little bit of an update before we get into the next clip. I just kind of think the weak things are just kind of being, you know, been there, done that sort of thing. So when we end uh, week three, um, I'm just going to, when we get started with the last couple of days of uh, the game, I'm just going to I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna leave it as the title to play through, and when it comes to like the final days, it'll just be like the final days or something, or the conclusion, I don't know, something cool, but uh, yeah, I'm very happy to be making videos again, and I hope you guys missed me, uh, I kinda missed doing this too, but I was like, but it was around the time where it was like the home stretch of the year, and uh, yeah. It was home stretch. didn't want to do anything, just wanted to focus on getting it finished, and uh, it's finished. Two week job happening right now, but uh, yeah, I uh, kind of want to focus on doing this as of right now, so that's cool by me, and I hope it is cool for you guys, but uh, there's not going to be a lot of videos for a while, and just for a future notice, I may be inactive on YouTube again. Like I'm always am, but um, I may go inactive again because I'm kind of gearing towards of uh, doing what I did for Honey Pop too, um, which is make all the videos, edit them, and release them all. Because um, I kind of liked that plan because it gave me much more freedom to do. But uh, uploading the videos is just a pain in the ass because it's an hour long and my my internet here is not the best. So I'm going to work around it. 
hopefully not suffer with another update. <sighs> and ho and I hope to not suffer another update while editing this because uh, Wondershare's Wondershare is kind of a bitch when it comes to that. So yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll try to get this out as soon as I can for the next big update. Uh, Wondershare has so um. Hope you all enjoy this uh, Mio thing. I may have another thing go past it because of my webcam uh, decided to fuck up after Mio's thing. Because there's an extremely funny part in there. So <laughs> yeah, that's that's it all for me. Now on to pass to me. Woohoo! Thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like if you enjoy. Uh, Comment on what kind of stuff I should do. Should I? I I'm obviously going to continue Hush Hush, and I'm going to continue Honey Pop, and uh, maybe start something else. I don't know. Subscribe if you're new here, and uh, if you're an existing subscriber, share this video with your friends, and uh, see what kind of cringe they endure while watching this. So thank you again for watching, and uh, enjoy. Oh boy, it's Mio Chapter Three. Arriving at the vineyard, you see Mia waiting outside, sitting on a fancy stone fence, swinging her legs back and forth. Maybe I should walk up, right? Walk up to her before she knows you. And even that's how it startles you up when she finally does. Ah! Oh my goodness! Sorry! <laughs> you startled me! Sorry, I was really deep in thought there, I guess. Unless you're a great deal sneakier than I thought. <laughs> what were you thinking about? Oh, just something really nerdy and stupid. I don't even want to say. Cool. But don't worry, I'm sure after a few glasses of wine, you'll be hearing all my random thoughts and opinions. Yay. <laughs> you know, I've lived here for basically forever, and I've never done a wine tour. What's up with that? I mean, they drive you to the wine. They give you all the wine. This is a genius idea, and somehow I've been missing out. You're full. It's the only answer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not the first time. <laughs> Won't be the last time, either. Now, I notice there's no wine out here. So let's stop doing out here, and let's go in. <clears throat> you and Mew enter the lobby. It's a lot colder than inside than out, as the AC seems to be on full blast. Oh. Why is the world so hostile to ladies with chilly bodies? Half the places I go to shop or hang out, I feel like I need to bring a blanket. How's a cold-blooded girl supposed to make it in the world? Huh. Hmm. Oh, you cruel, altered beast, you. I'll show you a good moaning. Don't. <laughs> er, wait, that sounded really bad. Whoops. Okay, good. Once you make it to the tasting room, a sommelier offers you and Mio a glass of white wine. She assures you both it's a fancy wine worth your time. Ooh, this one is good. I actually prefer whites in general because reds sometimes give me tummy aches and migraines. And before you give me sass, I don't just mean the next day. So stow away those smart aleck comments I hear you brewing up. Okay, whenever wine makes me feel awful, I find more wine helps. That strategy only works for a little while for me. Before I'm waking up on my floor and realizing I've texted all my exes to tell them I miss them. Good hey, God. look, wine! I'm gonna drink it. Go ahead, I'm not. So, kidding aside, how's the vacation going? Half over, right? Are you on track for all the trouble you wanted to cause by now? Unlike yours, I'm a little behind. <laughs> you bastard. Don't be hating on all this. I know you like the shorts. I see you, Myron. No, I'm not. As you, <coughs> as you and Neo finish up your first class, the sommelier returns with a second. This one appears to be a rose. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think I want to dye my hair this color. Whatever, whatever flows your boat. 
The sommelier joking reminds you that you that one generally spits out the wine after tasting. Into one of the wineries, many find silver buckets. I think that might be against my religion. Tell you what, we'll consult legal counsel and take it into consideration. After the sommelier moves on, Emil rolls her eyes and smiles. Spitting out wine? <laughs> who does that? Quitters, that's who. <laughs> Quitters and spitters! And in the adult entertainment industry, those two are the same thing. One of the other guests looks over their shoulder at Mia, giving her an un unimpressed look. Oh shit. Whoops, I might have said that a bit too loud. Grr. Phone, there is no message. There's no message. Please stop notifying me about ghost messages. It's a Discord. <laughs> Any choice? What's the problem? It's just my dumb phone. It alerts me five or six times a day to messages that aren't there. I've done all sorts of fooling around with it. Firmware updates, flashing it, everything I can think of. Sorry, that probably sounds like the least important of all first world problems. But I feel like it's going to drive me insane. I may be able to fix it. For real? You think you can fix it? You're not just playing with my emotions? Sure, thanks! Knock yourself out! The next step I'm most likely to try is dropping it into the ocean. But you take a crack first! You don't want to be paying a thousand bucks. Mia swipes the phone up and hands it to you on the sitting menu. While you're doing that, I'll BRB. The wine decided it's done with me and would like to head home. <laughs> okay. Good luck! I'm thinking fix it thoughts. Fix it Felix comes in. I can fix it! You tinker with Mio's phone for a few moments and spot the issue right away. It's definitely something even the technical person would likely miss. The fix only takes 30 seconds and you're left without wine or company. Pretty view, though. So if you through Mio's phone once more, you find at least 50 game apps which all seem to be up to date and regularly played. Type in on Mio's pictures folder, though. You're met with a password. Heh, <laughs> hack it to Mio's pictures. Hell to the no. <laughs> Close the phone and wait for Mio. You wait while also willing the sommelier to return. Mio practically jogs her way back, doing her best not to actually run, but her mouth is wide with happy anticipation. Hey hey! Did you do it? Is it fixed? Anime face Mio number two. You hand the phone back and nod gratefully. Oh my gosh! There are no new message pop-ups! You did it! Is the sommelier still in front of us? Oh my god! You're my hero! I was seriously ready to drop this down a hole and swear off texting forever! I feel like I should bake you a cake, or take off my armor to reveal my bikini or something. Uh, how does a well-adjusted adult show appreciation again? My nose feels... <laughs> okay. At the moment, the song returns noticing that, that your fancy spit bucket remains unused. She is slightly more hesitant to give you the next class. Don't worry, we're professionals. Professional whiners. The wine is so good we're having trouble deciding how many bottles to buy. I can only take so much. This pleases the sommelier who happily hands you each a glass of red wine. Then I'd say that would that Mio then Mia said that would fuck her up or something. Look at you. Smooth talking the wine gal into giving us the wine we paid for. Okay, I've been waiting for a time to ask you some stuff. And now seems like as good a time as any. Sweet. I've got some difficult things to ask you about. Stuff I need to know before I can decide if this relationship can continue. Are you ready? 
This won't be easy, but we can get through it. Bring it on, you're already tipsy. How dangerous can you be? Do not underestimate my power. I have the high ground. Yes! <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Great movie. Aside the memes, great movie. I lo I really like it. That's the only... St that's like the first Star Wars movie I've ever seen beginning to end. It's a, gr a fantastic movie. Not really fantastic, just great. Or amazing, I should say. I mean, wait. The Low Ground. The Low Ground? Is that what it's called? Shut up. Whatever, I got a lightsaber, bitch. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, question one. Which princess? Daisy or Peach? Sorry, Mew. This... This is the best princess. I will not take too kindly, Peach. I mean... It's right in the name. The answer is Rosalina, but whatever. Right? Gosh, I don't know what it is. But there's just something about how girly she is. All the pink, the super feminine voice. Gosh, I don't know. It just pushes buttons inside of me. I didn't even know we're there. Thank Jen Taylor. I mean, I've probably got some baggage from my childhood sprinkled in there too. But really, who doesn't? Okay, here's a trickier one. In Otoroku Bakari na Magiku Sakana Senshi, there's a scene where Sumi tries to seduce Kaito at the donut festival. This is gonna sting. My question is, how many times should the writers have had them get it on instead of the zero times they actually did? The sexual tension was insane for those two. And they were so perfect for each other. And they would have made each other so happy. And arg. <laughs> and arg. I am not over this. And I'm not watching their stupid reboot movie franchise because I saw Kaito's design and they got rid of his hair loopy things. So now, I don't want him to sweep me away to his bed anymore. Anyway, go ahead and answer. This is gonna sting. Whoa! <laughs> wow, I... <laughs> That's cool. I really like that. <laughs> Sorry, say? the snap back to reality is sometimes a little too jarring for myself. Yes, I also think you're smexy. Thanks, I guess. What was the question? Ah, never mind. I can tell I only asked it because it was something upsetting and I needed to vent. Suddenly returns and Mio quickly chugs the rest of her glass. My god. You're feeling a slight buzz yourself at this point, and the fourth glass seems taller than usual. Ah, very nice. Good year. Nice bouquet. This ain't looking too Alright, this is the third glass. Somebody looks slightly alarmed at this point. But usually hands each one of you each of you one last glass and informs think that it's it informs you that it's an ice wine. <laughs> ice wine, like this wine tastes really ice? Boo! Like nice, but ice. Boo! That sucked. The summer says that she'll fetch some crackers and leaves. Well, I forget the rest of my questions. Did you have any questions for me? Maybe something nerdy to make me feel better about my personal interests? This is gonna sting. And oh, good question. Because it used to be working <coughs> for a long time, but I just watched a new one, and it's that one now. I can't listen to this. The anime is called Doki Doki Gaia Senki DX3. I'm done. And it's probably not actually my all-time favorite. Let's just say it's my temporary favorite. Cool. <laughs> my summer fling, if you will. Oh, I get it. Yeah, because she had a phone fling come out this summer. This game was coming out. Was coming to. I don't know if that many damn sense, but whatever. It's a Yandere story about this boy who discovers that he has the power to kill people with his mind. But only if he's kind to them. Stranger things? <laughs> so the whole show is him trying to be as kind as possible to all the people who are awful to him or who are just his romantic rivals for this girl he falls in love with. <laughs> Colin Ayano. 
It's heartbreaking because there are times when he's trying to use his power to defend himself. Like he's getting beat up and he's trying harder and harder to be nice to the bully. And then he can't be nice to the girl he loves because otherwise... Well, you see the dilemma. Yep, that sounds like anime. I've been staring at this all day. I still don't get it. It sure does. Would it surprise you to find out there's also a talking alligator? Because there is. It's not Vector the crocodile, is it? <laughs> Sonic would be irate. He's supposed to be like this ancient spirit, but I think the original artist just really liked drawing lizards and stuff. Oh no, it's the lizard from Spider-Man. What was his name? Dr. Connors? I don't know. So, okay, as dumb as this sounds, my favorite part of the anime isn't the Yandere. <laughs> it's actually the senpai, the girl that the main character is in love with. Kind of there. And it's because, well, I feel really, really connected to her. Cool. She doesn't have the most screen time, but she's written in a way where she's just sort of a quiet character. Like, the loudest part of her is actually the world just dealing with her. Every time she's on screen, she says something that gives everyone a little boost, you know? And as a result, all this misfortune befalls her. She's got stalkers! Her friends keep dying! Her family is weird and probably abusive, and so on. There's all these dangers, and they're always drawn to her because she's quiet. In fact, they're drawn to that quietness, to that peace about her. They're starving for it. Ah, and I love her. And she's pretty, and she dies, and her death is beautiful. And spoiler, I guess. <laughs> that sounds really dumb. <laughs> love it. Let's watch it sometime. Will you? Oh, all I want in life right now is someone to talk to about this story. I know it's kind of silly, but whenever the universe makes me feel this way about a certain character or story, I feel like I need to slow down and pay attention. If you watch it with me, well then, you're good people. Woof, I think maybe I should have used that spitty bucket. I'm already mm, a little inebriated. That's what you get for not eating breakfast and lunch, I guess. Even if all you want to do is fit into the cosplay you just bought. Uh -huh. I don't think I want to hit the next place. Do you want to just go get some fries or something? Yeah, let's bounce. Okay, but you're going to have to do most of the bouncing because I think this floor is a bit slanted. Oh. On your way out, Mio tells something to... Mio tells us only that she had a wonderful time. No one seems to mind that she is a little tipsy. It is, after all, a lion tasting place. <laughs> Once you're outside, the fresh air perks both of you up. You catch. Oh, shit. You catch Mio giggling to herself as you call a ride share and look for a place that serves fires. <laughs> it's so weird sometimes. Oh, yes. It is. Well, I've officially outed myself as a big weirdo nerd. Cool. I should probably leave the anime analysis to the professionals. Okay. All cool. those teenagers on YouTube. Ah! <sighs> Thank God I ain't one of them. I found all that pretty insightful, actually. Just so. Oh, well, thank you. Look, I'm going to do something I would normally never do, but I think I've had enough wine to do this. I want to give you the streaming address for my show. Just in case we're not super clear on the details, I play video games naked. You told me that. People tip me money. <laughs> I'm gonna, I was gonna name some porn site, but I'm not going to say it. Sometimes I do more than take off my clothes. It means I'm a big fat bot. And the internet hates me and loves me at the same time. It's very confusing. Big God! Stop! I want you to watch it. And then I want you to talk to me. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it is. <sighs> I mean, 
mean, I don't get quite as heated or opinionated on stream as I do in real life. But you get to see boobies, so everyone is happy. I guess. Just watch it, please. I need someone else to know. Someone to talk to about it. Will you do that for me? <laughs> yep. Thank you. I know how weird this sounds. A little weird. And I know the wine probably isn't helping. Or it's helping a whole lot. I don't know. <sighs> May it was quiet for, quiet for a while, as the two of you wait for the ride share. She pays with her hair. She plays with her hair. Pays. Uh, she plays with her hair. Come on, phone. And bites her bottom lip in a way that that's kind of sexy and sad at the same time. Before the ride share arrives, she says one more thing. I have a stalker. Just blood? I have a soccer? Okay. <laughs> shocker. Very actually, very shocking. Mia seems to freeze after she says it. Looking at you side-eyed, she literally holds her breath until you respond. <laughs> like... Right now? Nearby? I will put my fisticuffs in this stalker who is around here somewhere. Fuck me out there! That was almost bad. Oh, the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> That'll be the best thing that has ever happened in this whole playthrough. Bar none. <laughs> okay. Back, back to this. Back to this. Like right now, nearby? <laughs> no, no, not here. At least I don't think so. <sighs> There's this guy or gal, I suppose, that follows my stream. They've donated a lot of money to me over time. Every time I auction off a uh, make me do anything stream, they always buy it. They've sent me a lot of emails. Emails asking to meet me or to talk on the phone. And those ghost messages you fixed? Every time they went off, I thought maybe this was it. This was the stalker finding me. It's sort of maybe why they were driving me crazy. Why are you telling me this? Uh, I like you, and I trust you. That's cool. And like everything else, I just really needed to tell someone. When the ride chair rides, Mio actually squeezes your arm before you get into the car. I think I'm actually going to walk home now. It's really nice out, and I don't live far from here. I just need a walk. I got a lot of thoughts in this silly brain. Do you want to take the ride chair? I can walk. No, I would much prefer to walk right now. Thank you. Mia leans over and kisses me. See you later. Thanks for everything. Don't watch Doki Doki Gaia's Thank You DX3 without me. I'll know, and I'll cut you. Please don't. I'll text you the website for the stream. Bye! Mia walks away, and the rideshare takes you to french fries. Are you shitting me? What? Well, almost perfect playthrough. <laughs> I don't care. And that's it for the video, everybody. Time paradox. It's a different day. Ooh, <laughs> funny. That's gonna be it for this video. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. 
uh, comment on what I should do in the future. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and uh, if you're an existing if you're an existing subscriber, share this video with your friends and see the cringe that I have made. Now that I think about it, it's not cringe. It's just totally fine content, but man, whatever. It's so cringe. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.